What do investment funds have in common with fat-free milk? These days, we've seen a growing number of funds market themselves as green, sustainable, low carbon, and so on. One estimate says there are at least 800 registered investment companies with more than $3 trillion, saying that they're investing in assets they say achieve some environmental, social, or governance goal. This is often called ESG investing. Suffice it to say, there are hundreds of funds and potentially trillions of dollars of assets that managers are claiming meet some ESG targets. But what information stands behind those claims that the funds are green or sustainable? Congress established laws about fund naming conventions long ago through something called the Investment Company Act of 1940. The idea then and now is that when a fund company uses a name, you should be able to read that name and trust what it says. When I think about these questions, I'm reminded of walking down the aisle of a grocery store and seeing a product like fat-free milk. What does fat-free mean? Well, in that case, you can see objective figures like grams of fat, which are detailed on the nutrition label. In investing, funds often disclose objective metrics as well. A high-yield bond fund, for instance, will disclose things like summaries of the underlying bonds, credit ratings, and the like. Investors get a window into the criteria and the data that underlie a name. When it comes to ESG investing, though, there's currently a, a wide range of what asset managers might mean by certain terms and what criteria they might use. Some funds, they screen out certain industries. Others, they might include other industries. And yet, other funds make assertions about the greenhouse gas emissions or water sustainability of the underlying companies they're investing in. So, which data and criteria are asset managers actually using to ensure they're meeting your goals as investors? You're the people to whom they're marketing their funds as sustainable or green. And I think investors should be able to drill down and see the ingredients underlying these funds. That's why I've asked staff to build upon our naming rules and conventions and consider recommendations about whether fund managers should disclose the criteria and underlying data they use in so-called ESG investing. It's easy to tell if milk is fat-free. It might be time to make it easier to tell whether a fund is really what they say they are.